Hello, friends. Today we are going to talk about the sounds made by our bodies and what do Chinese people think of them. We all have bodies, and there are several openings in our bodies. Many of us enjoy inserting different objects into these openings, but that's not what we are going to discuss today. In this video, we will talk about all kinds of peculiar sounds made by these openings, such as burping, sneezing, coughing, spitting, snoring, and farting. Let's first talk about farting. In China, it is widely agreed that farting loudly in public is not polite. However, according to my observation, not all the people hold back their farts in public. I have heard it countless times. When people fart, they act very naturally and pretend nothing has happened. In China, there is a saying: "The fart which makes a sound doesn't stink. The fart which stink doesn't make a sound." I think, compared to the loud fart, the stinky fart is worse. But People feel more free to fart in public when they have a quiet fart. I have a lot of experience with it. Not that I am good at farting. I am experienced of detecting other people's fart in public. I think nobody likes to hold back their fart. If we can, we will always choose to fart. In China, interestingly, people very often urge other people. Fart quickly. We don't really ask people to fart. We say it when we are very impatient with someone's hesitation in speaking. So we say to them, "If you have anything to say, say quickly. If you have any fart, fart quickly." Next, we can talk about burping. It is also not very elegant to burp loudly in public. Most of the people don't burp in front of unfamiliar people. Those people who do, they don't care. They are low-level people. But with our family members or friends, we can burp from time to time. It's not a big problem. I once saw a famous professor burp loudly, continuously, multiple times in front of many professors and students. And he acts like everything's so normal, and we all felt very weird because his behavior doesn't match his identity. But nobody dared to call him low level. You see, here is the thing: when smart weirdos do weird things, we think it's normal, and we even think it's cute. Except for burping, our mouth can produce other sounds, like the sound of smacking lips. I will show you. I think these sounds frequently occur in our expressions, like "What are you doing?" And also, when we eat, we make sounds. When we drink soup, we make sounds. Yeah, many Chinese people make sounds when we eat, but as long as we don't make it so loudly. Usually, people don't pay too much attention on it. After all, in the restaurant, the ambience is quite noisy. Sneezing and coughing, these are not only the problem of making inelegant sounds. Many many people don't think what they do when they cough or sneeze. They don't control themselves, and they don't cover themselves, including young people. I very often encounter this situation when somebody sneezes next to me, achoo, and suddenly his saliva fly everywhere all over my face. It's so disgusting and stinky. Next, I want to talk about blowing nose and spitting. Why do I have to talk about spitting each time? Yeah, it is very common. Many Chinese people spit and blow nose in public. Very loudly. Let me show you how they do it. <coughs> 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 
yeah, when you hear they do this sound and you already know what are they going to do. And you don't have to look at them. Only by hearing this sound, you already feel so disgusting. I really want to be brave once when I heard somebody start to make this sound. I will go to him and tell him, stop what you are doing. But compared to spitting, blowing nose sometimes is acceptable. But you have to do it in a gentle way. For sure, you understand the difference between the gentle and the second is much, much more disgusting. And sometimes when people are after dinner, they go to the bathroom and they clean their nose and spit there. But when they are in the bathroom, they feel so free and so safe and they do everything so loudly like the whole house can hear them. Lastly, I would like to talk about snoring. Oh my God, I really hope one day people can invent a peer to solve this problem once for all. But the interesting thing with snoring is that in China, you can find people snoring during the day in public. Chinese people like to have a nap during the day and they can easily fall asleep when they are sitting somewhere or leaning somewhere. And I very often hear people snoring in the park, in the city, somewhere in the street, and in the building, in the train, and even in the important meeting, when there is a person talking about very important subject, but the rest of people are so bored and so sleepy. Suddenly, there is one guy start to snore so loudly. And believe me, this scenery is so funny. Of course, snoring in public is not very elegant, but we more think it as a funny thing. Okay, so today we talk about the sounds made by our bodies. And um, you can leave your comment to tell us what you think of them. Maybe next time we can talk about some other weird things that people do in public, like cutting nails, digging nose, digging ears, picking teeth and picking feet. I hope you enjoyed today's video and in the end, please subscribe and give us a like. See you next time. Bye bye. <coughs> Finish?